The Myers-Briggs Type Indicator, commonly known as the MBTI or Myers-Briggs Test, is a personality assessment created in 1943 by Isabella Briggs Myers and her mother, Catherine Cook Briggs. The assessment was based on the ideas of Carl Jung, a 20th century Swiss psychiatrist. The MBTI is based on four aspects that make up a personality. The mind is the aspect that shows how people interact with their surroundings. The two traits in this category are introverted and extroverted. Introverted individuals tend to be more isolated and not as interested in social activity as extroverted people. Introverts are comfortable in their own private space and do the best thinking in solitude. On the other hand, extroverts typically enjoy the company of others and work the best while being able to bounce their ideas off of one another. Another common way that introverts and extroverts are deciphered is by where they get their energy. Extroverts feel more energetic when they're around other people, while introverts recharge when they're alone in their own space. It can be very draining for introverts to have a lot of social interaction and vice versa for extroverts. They feel drained when they're alone and lacking external stimulation. The second trait that makes up a personality is energy. Energy is categorized into two sections, sensing, which can also be identified as observant, and intuitive. These traits determine how you see the world and what kind of information you tend to focus on. Sensing people are called so because they interpret information using their five senses. They're very practical numbers people. Sensing people focus on facts and observable measures. On the contrary, there are intuitive people who tend to focus on ideas and what could be. These people are often very imaginative. These people are not necessarily impractical, but are more novel and creative than sensing types. These people could be described as having their head in the clouds, focused on the possibilities around them, while sensing people are more grounded and focused on what's right in front of them. The third trait that makes up a personality is the nature of a person. This aspect of our personalities is what determines how we make our decisions and how we react to situations and cope with emotions. In this category, people are either T's, thinkers, or F's, feelers. Thinkers are objective and rational thinkers who think more with their head. They take the facts in front of them and use that information to make decisions rather than using their personal feelings or emotions to make decisions. Then there are feelers. These people are the ones who think more with their heart. They tend to empathize with the people who a decision may affect and act accordingly. They're more emotionally driven, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Rather than focusing on effectiveness in the decisions they make, they strive to achieve social harmony. The fourth part of a personality has to do with the tactics we use in our approach to work, planning, and decision making. People are either prospecting or judging. Prospecting people are the laid back, less organized, flexible types. These are the people who like to keep their options open in case a new opportunity comes along. They have no problem with sudden changes. When things get boring, prospecting people will be the first to change it up. These people also tend to be the type who don't enjoy sticking to a schedule or monitoring progress. On the other hand of the organizational spectrum are the judging people. Though the term judging has a negative connotation in everyday jargon, it isn't necessarily negative in this context. People who judge are the people who enjoy structure and predictability. These people are planners and do not enjoy just going with the flow. These people tend to stick to the plan and keep mental checklists to ensure that everything goes as they expected. The way that the Myers-Briggs type indicator determines an individual's type is by providing a series of statements and having that individual determine how like or unlike them that statement is. An algorithm then pairs the individual's responses with the aspect of personality that best matches. For example, a statement is used on most Myers-Briggs tests is, being organized is more important to you than being adaptable. A person with a high judging score would say that this statement sounds like them, while a person with a high prospecting score would think that this isn't something they'd say. After enough questions are answered to determine which type an individual is, that individual is assigned a letter from each category. To review, these letters are I or E for introverted or extroverted, S or N for sensing or intuitive, T or F for thinking or feeling, and J or P for judging or prospecting. There are 16 combinations of letters that form 16 different personality types. 
Knowing your types and the types of those with whom you work can be extremely beneficial to a group. This information can improve group discussions, help understand what kind of deadlines or progress reports should be used, what kind of communication should be used within the group, and which person would be best for each type of role in the group. At this point, hopefully you all know your letters because we're going to see how well you know your type.